Hi guys, my name is Lucas, and today on OmniTech News, we're taking a first look at Microsoft Office 2010. So obviously right now all the buzz is on uh, Microsoft Office 2010, which just went into the RTM stage about a week ago. Um, it's now available on MSDN and TechNet, and that's what we're running right now, and it's a, uh, a great uh, software suite. So today we're going to kind of be going over uh, all the new features, and uh, well, some of them anyway. We don't have time to go over all of them because there's tons and tons of stuff. But uh, let me just start out with some basic pricing and uh, versions and stuff. So one of the new things with uh, Microsoft Office 2010 is that when you're buying it in retail stores and stuff, uh, you don't necessarily need to get a full boxed version. You can just get a little uh, uh, little paper card with um, a key, the, just the serial key on it. And uh, then you can go and download it um, on the web and just do that. That's called the click to run. And uh, so the actual versions themselves uh, are starting out as the starter edition, which is only available through OEMs. This is not uh, a retail version. This is mainly going to be used for netbooks and stuff. Like when you're going to buy a computer, you can put Office Starter on there. And this doesn't really include that much of the uh, different stuff. It's just got Word and Excel, the starter version. So that's for OEMs only. The next version is Home and Student. This is available in retail stores. It costs $119 for the key card and $149 for the full, full boxed version. Um, it comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Next is Home and Business. This is also retail. Key card costs $199 and the boxed version costs $279. It comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. Next is the Standard Edition. Um, this is for uh, volume licensing. It's not available in uh, in retail stores or anything, so you can't get it uh, the key card or the um, uh, boxed full version. If you want to get like volume, you gotta order it from Microsoft. It comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, and Publisher. Next is the professional version. This is available in retail stores. Three forty nine for the key card. Four ninety nine for the full boxed version. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. Outlook, Publisher, Access, and oh wait, no, it doesn't come with uh, the communicator. So uh, yeah, that that's what it, uh, the professional version comes with. So after the professional version comes professional academic, which is not available in retail stores. It's like the essentially professional, but uh, at a discounted rate for schools and colleges and stuff. Um, you have to buy it specifically from Microsoft. It's like ninety nine dollars per version. Um, and that includes everything that professional included, so I won't go through and list all of that again. After that comes Professional Plus, which is what I'm running right now. Uh, it's not available in retail stores, it's just for MSDN and TechNet subscribers. And that comes with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, Access, Communicator, InfoPath, SharePoint, Workspace, which is Groove, Office Customization Tool. And that is essentially everything. So Pro Plus comes with everything. Um, and again, that is only available to MSDN and TechNet subscribers, no retail. So the big new thing that's included in all the software in Microsoft Office 2010 is the improved ribbon design. Now, this design was first implemented starting in Office 2007. Um, it gives this really nice kind of panel that lays out on the top uh, quarter of the screen or so. It gives you all the tools and settings and the font changes, like all that stuff that you might want to uh, add to your document or your email or whatever you happen to be doing in whatever uh, piece of software you're using in Office. So I have Word open here. You can see um, the color has been a little bit, uh, it's been brightened and the general interface of the ribbon has been changed a little bit. You've still got this kind of drop down um, thing where you scroll through. Uh, these different uh, fonts and styles and stuff. You've got your uh, your different font sizes and everything over here. You've got your basic home insert, page layout, references, a couple new additions and stuff throughout here. Um, the one main difference over here is that you'll find the file tab over here instead of the office button that was previously up here. So you just click the file button and you have your save, save as, open, close, all those uh, standard things. Um, and then your recent documents and whatever kind of you you want to display you've got options and stuff down here um, one big thing that they're trying to do in office 2010 is push uh, 
web um, uh, c web compatibility and kind of like um, integrate the the whole social media thing a bit more. And so they've implemented uh, a save to web feature, which is one of the handiest things. Like this is replacing Dropbox for me as far as like a uh, schoolwork goes, because I'm primarily using like Word and PowerPoint. Anyways, um, this is really handy. Essentially what it does is it'll save to your Windows Live SkyDrive account, um, which you will obviously have if you have a Windows Live account. Um, and so you can just go onto your Live SkyDrive account at school or work or wherever you may be and uh, quickly download a presentation or uh, a document or whatever it may be that you need to download. And uh, it's, it's as simple as that. It's a really kind of handy thing that they've implemented into this version of Office. Okay, I couldn't pass up talking about uh, pen support in Office 2010. This is something I've been waiting for in uh, Office for a while now. I'm glad that they're kind of finally appealing to everybody who has a, a Wacom tablet and a tablet in general. Um, I think they could have done it a bit earlier, but you know, I'm excited that they have it now. So essentially they've added pen support, and not just pen support, but it's uh, it actually works with pressure sensitive um, uh, tablets. So I can actually draw a squiggly line here, and as I press a little bit lighter on my tablet, it'll get lighter and harder, the line will get thicker, which is fantastic. Thank you Microsoft for adding that. Um, there's also highlighter, eraser, lasso, um, and then a ton of different options as far as color and thickness goes. And I think this is a really, uh, a really nice feature that they've added and I am excited to try around with this more. Um, I'm glad it has uh, pressure sensitivity, which is really handy. It doesn't have um, eraser support for like if your pen, if your Wacom pen has an eraser, but you know, um, uh, I wasn't expecting uh, pressure sensitivity, which is fantastic, and I certainly wasn't expecting eraser support. So thank you, Microsoft, for pen support in Office 2010. In the newest version of Office, there have been a lot of things uh, improved. Certainly, I don't have time to go over everything because there are literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of things that uh, Microsoft has added in Office 2010 that I don't have time to talk about. A lot of these things that I've talked about, like as far as the ribbon goes and the pen support um, and the saved web, they're kind of integrated all across uh, the Office suite, so you can find that in pretty much any uh, any one of the specific pieces of software. So um, go download the RTM if you are an MSDN or TechNet subscriber. <coughs> If not, it'll be out in June, and you can pick it up then. It's fantastic. And uh, this has been a little first look at Office 2010 for Microsoft.